Hello, and welcome. I'm Xander, and here we are playing modded Minecraft once again. Ender Pearls! Uh, basically, I made another Soul Shard thing, and when I blo broke the Blaze one, my game crashed, so I lost it, and I don't particularly care too much. So I got an Enderman one in there. And the reason why I broke the Blaze one is because I had the Enderman one right about there, and it couldn't spawn due to its location. Now, I've got some redstone lamps in there hooked up to this. So whenever it's on, or whenever, you know, the Enderman spawner is disabled, they're on. And if I hit this, you can see spawnable space when it's dark. So, Enderman spawned. Yay! That only took uh, one crystallized soul essence, surprisingly. But I made a ton of Ender Pearls. Like, what I, what you see up there is not even the tip of the iceberg. Oops. And I've got some stuff on me, so we'll get to that shortly. Put that back in there. I made a lot of Endurium. Like, all of my shiny I had, I made into Endurium. But, there's a collection of things that I wish to do. The first one of those is, I want to make a quarry. Right, it's 11, not 12. Seeing here, it's like, why do I have such a weird number? So, that said, let's just put a filler in the middle so I can do this. There we go. There we go. Now, the minimum I'm going to need is iron, so I'm going to upgrade them all. However, there is two diamond gears and two gold gears. Oops. Oops. Come on now. Now, I only want to upgrade two of these, which is why I only have just enough diamonds. Uh, don't mind this. This is a new uh, Tinker's Construct to separate some of its stuff into two mods now, as far as I can tell. Uh, so that's what that was all about. And... Right. Uh, for some odd reason... The autofill thing doesn't play nicely with things that have durability, even though it hasn't lost any. Yay, quarry! So, as part of our ongoing project of things we're going to need, I suppose, I'm going to need two diamonds. But anyhow, ongoing project of things I need, I need to melt down some glowstone. I'll combine it with item ducks. Each glowstone is worth 250, and each 200 gives me an impulse. Uh, the reason why I chose to do five of them is because I just figured, you know what, I'll just melt down an equal 1,000, and that'll match out equally to that. So, and that is those. I want four of these. Actually, I want eight of these and eight of these. Because I wish to make... Whoops. I wish to make me some Tesseracts, which I completely forgot that I was going to need Ender Pearls. So it's a good thing I prepared that pretty good stock ahead of time. So, uh, throw those in there. Now while we're at it, I made tough tool rods, pretty much the same as making any other thing in Tinker's Construct. You know, make the stencil, then make a stone or whatever version of it. And then throw it on the table and make it cast. So, but anyhow, these take three iron bars each. And this is just leather. And then a piece of gold. And we get a knapsack. Now, a knapsack is useful because it goes right here. And now, I have a knapsack tag, tab. It's basically an extra inventory to work with, so... That is useful. Another thing I want to do is go with the quarry, I want to make some landmarks, because if I'm going to make it, I might as well go the whole way. And done. Uh, what do these just take? Silver? Simple! Should have looked it up beforehand, though. I'm good at this. So, let's grab me some of that. And Tesseracts. Now, they've changed it. There's no longer different types of Tesseracts. And as you can see, a lot of stuff is missing from here. 
Uh, I made another elevator and made my ridiculous setup of pipes and wires and this, that, and whatnot. So this is an absolute disaster down here. However, I'm thinking about replacing these. And the re the uh, idea as to what I'm replacing it with is I can use the saplings. And with those, well, first of all, let's come down here. I want to put this somewhere I can easily mess with at the moment. So I will set the front of the device as output. I will send this to... I want to send energy. Oh, that's items. Just to receive items. And there we go. I'm going to put this down... I might as well just put it down right here. The reasoning for this is that I'm going to be getting a lot of things coming in the quarry, possibly faster than I can spit them out without an impulse item duct. So, I made that. However, there is... I'll grab this. I'm not going to be using the turtle anymore. I did a lot of the mining with the turtle, which is how I got this stuff. And I made this a while ago, but I never showed you. Here is the trash can. Pretty simple. Three stone, chest, five cobble. It basically just deletes items you send into it. So, I'm going to hook that up to here. And the important things I wish to delete are as follows. Dirt, gravel, flint, and limestone. There will probably be more because I want to put this down in an ocean. Oops. Because uh, with Railcraft, oceans have abyssal stone. And if we look at ores, we'll see this black ore here, the dark diamond, dark emerald. The important thing here is the dark emerald to me. Because that basically means that one can now find uh, emeralds. Yeah, basically, in this case, just emeralds under the ocean. But that means I'm going to have to put abyssal stone through here in the future. Now, everything I want should stay in this chest, so if I were to put redstone in there, iron, it doesn't go anywhere. So this should output, I suppose if we set a frequency at least. I'll just set it to main, I'll probably worry about that later. Just give it a name to make it simple. And so we're sending energy and receiving items. This isn't going anywhere at the moment. However, I want to get a new source of power once it's a bit more condensed. Uh, where is these? And I'm going to need more of them, so yeah, that'll probably do for now. Let's just make six of these. Uh, where is it? There we go. The reasoning is, I wish to make bioreactor which takes well yeah yeah okay the reactor is oh one oh what I want to make at the moment so I'm going to need a spider eye three pieces of sugar uh where did I put the slime balls two slime balls you know what screw it might as well just go all the way on this and make two of them for simplicity's sake. Oh, right. I know what I'm missing. I need mushrooms. Oh, convenient. I realize I had just put more mushrooms in there than I needed. So, let's make a bioreactor. Well, two of them. I'm making two just for the sake to make sure that things keep up. Now, I'm also going to need to make these. So I need pistons and furnaces. I'm not sure how many I'm going to make. Maybe I'll just start with four? Four sounds like a good number. As far as I know, uh, the fuel is less, less efficient than fuel from uh, Buildcraft. But these machines... Well, these machines, they create less fuel out of the biofuel, but it creates it at a much higher rate, 16 per tick. So, 
the engines down there, they generate a number that is, well, less than that for one. It's basically four Minecraft jewels per tick, and I'm changing my fuel sources. So, making four of these. Oh, what am I missing? Oh, pistons. Derp. Uh, I have everything for then on me. Cool. No? Oh, I pressed the wrong button. One, two, three, four, five. Oh. What am I missing? Stone. But, uh, side. Well, not sidetracked, but. How am I making? Four. Which means I made more of these than I need. Ah, whatever. It never hurts to have too many pistons. I'll just put the pistons in here. Furnaces. I'll use them eventually. I no longer need... Oops. This... Okay, you can go away now. Thank you. I'm going to need fluiducts for this. How many do I have left? Eight. Although I'm not going to need the water as far as I know. I'll probably need item ducts, but... Just like everything else, I can harvest it from here. Uh, The only thing I'm really worried about is the fact of this horrible, horrible setup. Because these are no longer useful to me where they're at. And that provides me with an interesting predicament. Uh, that's over there. And those are over there. Hmm. I think I can come up with a way around this? In the meantime... All of these things are more or less in my way. So we'll just break these out. The uh, energy cell is completely full, so I'm not too concerned about doing this. However, I cannot get rid of that, because that's hooked up to those, which keeps that powered, so yeah. What I can do, however, is put all of those stacks of charcoal back in there. Now we want the generators here. No. Should be able to generate out of the bottom. Yeah. So we will hook these up here. And then, what is going to be the easiest way to get the items down here? I'm worried about colliding with that. So, what I think I can do is I can instead use the fluidux. I have way too much crap on me. I did some looking to see what I believe the actual value is, and it, my math is right, you get almost 3,000 uses out of that amount of RF, which is a bit ridiculous. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, more fluid nuts, okay. And I'm gonna want item ducks, I'll just grab all the item ducks. This isn't really, the, the filling in of that isn't really necessary, but I've been being extremely specific on building things around here, so I figure why not continue down the same line that I'm already on. Now, I'm not sure how fast this is going to devour my supply of uh, things. But, actually, no, I want those there. Uh, my supply of saplings, that's the word I was looking for. But, 
I'm hoping it's not too terribly fast. Do yeah, I think I'll come down here still. And I'll run around the fluid ducts right along here. Right. So I'll break these for the moment. They do not currently need to be here. Basically, I want to make sure I have a bunch of power gen, and this is the easiest to make and eas most upgradable I can think of at the moment. Oops. Uh, I'll deal with you later. So, if I put these in places, like that, put that there, should be able to put the bioreactors here and here, and the item pipes there and there. And I'm going to need the wrench, so this is where I'll take care of this, or not. Give me those. Do not need that any longer. That there. Reactor, 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 reactor. Well, generator, actually, not reactor. But that is beside the point. Set these to pull out, just in case, because it probably needs that, maybe. And that should be all I need to get this moving. Right? Set them all to round robin because I want to get saplings even evenly distributed between these, but that does not appear to be the case. Shouldn't really be an issue though. The rate at which it is devouring those saplings is just completely insane. But it should slow down once it's buffer and everything else is full. And these will only be on as they need to be on. As you can see, they can hold up to 10,000 RF themselves. So that's a good buffer. The rest of them should fill up. At some point. But one of these is equivalent to four of these, so I have greatly increased my power generation in this case. Yeah, look at that fill up. And that's with only one engine powering it all. I say engine, but it's technically a generator. So... Why are you guys being extremely slow? Well, that's partly because it has low efficiency. I can actually bump that efficiency right now. Just a tiny bit. I disassembled the wheat farm for the time being. So, that's pretty much that. I haven't really gone back to the nether. These in here. Do do do. Going to take three. Uh, I'll go place down the quarry later, and then I'll get the emeralds before next episode, hopefully. I realize this one hasn't been going on very long. I don't intend to end it quite yet. Uh, I don't really need that too much anymore, so that can go in there. Everything else where I found it, I guess I grabbed too many things. Oops. I suppose, in the meantime, uh, I know I want to make another chest. Doesn't need to be anything special, though. Oh, oops. The reason why I want to make another chest is because... What am I doing? Is because of the fact that I don't know if a quarry can input directly into the chest rack. I might as well test it. 
like nearby. I don't need the landmarks for that. So that is what I need to put the fluid ducts in here, and I'm going to need one of these. So here's the plan. I'll go somewhere. For example, might as well go down here. If you're wondering what's going on here, I tried a script for the turtles I found on the internet that tries to be more efficient. What the hell were you doing hanging there? Be more efficient? It kind of worked. It didn't really make it take much less in terms of time. Okay. Put that there. Uh, where is the most efficient place I could put this? It really isn't. But I brought more item ducks than I did things. So, I wish to send items Oops. Send items, receive energy. Set that to that. And the moment I place this down, this thing should go absolutely nuts. We're not going to notice it quite yet. The reason why... Ooh, wow, it even says what it's sending and receiving on that. Cool. Uh, the reason why we're not seeing anything yet is it should be, in theory... Uh, trying to clear out the land. So if we go in here... Yeah. Uh, this process moves at a set speed. So... I suppose I'll give it a little bit of help. Okay, screw it, it's faster than I am. Nope. Oh, yeah. So put this in here. Gone. 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 Now those should be in here already, and in the chest on the other side, and those things probably should have gotten thrown away. And I know that this is going. I'm not sure if a Tesseract still has its 100, 100 Minecraft Jewel per tick. Or, in this case... Uh, 1,000 RF per tick, or if it can handle 10,000 like the pipes, but if it can handle 10,000, I might need to put the hardened one in the way and imply a limit. Speaking of which, can I look at this? Max power, 100 Minecraft Joules per tick. Trigger, 25 Minecraft Joules. So this can only support 100. I know that the... Uh, Quarry's mod that I have installed, their quarry can support stupid amounts of power. And I want to get to that eventually, because it has support for Fortune, or Silk Touch, or whatever I want, so. Well, that's going pretty quickly. I might as well let that go about its business. I already placed it. Might as well let it do what it's doing. So, that said, suppose I can turn this monstrosity back on. I'm not sure what I'm going to do about the extra wood, to be honest. I have no idea. Oh, yes, that's a lag-creating machine. That's part of the reason why I have it turned off. It, it literally just, like, abuses frame rate. And I don't know if that does anything for ticks... Eh, a little bit. Maybe. I know my ticks per second is a bit low. Let's turn you off. So... Huh. Ah, whatever. It'll be fine. I haven't noticed any block lag, so the ticks don't mean anything to me at the moment. Uh, let's get deposit my XP... I got another book. Got Smite. Ooh. So. Those should be doing what they're doing. 
I have an unfortunately large amount of uh, wood, and a lot of the saplings have kaputted. Now, I have them configured. I actually left back here easy to access. I have these configured so they only accept saplings on these three, so I'll never have to worry about that system breaking. Hopefully. Those trees are a lag creating mess, though. I'm not gonna lie. I, I'm not entirely sure. I'm pretty sure they might have changed this. Maybe, maybe not. And I was distracted. I should probably stop being distracted. I was going to do something. Mostly involving seeds. So technically, I should be able to throw seeds in there and digest them for a higher percentage. Not higher, well, yeah, yeah efficiency It's technically the word. Whoops. That's going to be a recurring theme until I get used to that. I just added that not too long ago. Now if I put this in here and this in here, this will make the efficiency higher. So instead of getting 80 millibuckets per item, I'm getting roughly... Uh, why does that seem like it's being horribly inefficient about the way it's doing that? Weird. Very weird. And I am not at all amused. Hmm. It seems like it's just devouring saplings at a stupid speed to me, though, and I don't understand what that's all about. Also, do these things not support... Yeah, I thought it would try and split it evenly between these, but for some reason it's starting at the farthest one and then filling in from there. Huh. When that's flickering on and off, how are you doing on power? It's going away. I'll take those torches, because why not? So... Things are coming through just fine from the looks of it. If I do a massive, massive 64, 64 quarry, the number of items in here would probably be a lot higher. But quarries take a while to do things. Kind of like these are being extremely inefficient with the saplings for some reason. I realize it has a low efficiency value at the moment, but it just seems odd. Because this isn't dropping down very low. And yet the saplings are just getting eaten. But that has 8,000 buckets. Each of these can hold four. I'm assuming that's 8,000. I don't Maybe the buffer isn't equivalent. Maybe it's the buffer times the efficiency value? I, I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. I do know that both of those are now empty. So I'm, ho I'm generating... 250% of the power I had before, not 250, uh, 150% of the power I was before I set this up, although maybe I should consider hooking these back up. Uh, with the primary reason of doing that being, I, I can't be sure that's going to keep going. Uh, yeah, I think I should probably do that. I am out of, out of item ducks. No, not you. I, item ducks have been a serious lack of items for me lately. Uh, I seem to be running out of them 
constantly. Both them and the Fluidux. Because I'm just placing them everywhere. Okay, hopefully that's enough to get me to where I'm trying to get. Except for I need these. And I'm going to need the engines. Oh. Okay, so. One, two, three, four. Okay, that's going to be a problem. I don't really have the space to put these in here, to be honest. Huh. How are you doing on generating fluid? One could argue poorly. Well, what about the tree farm? Is the tree farm doing things? I don't even know at this point. I have no idea. Although I am going to set these up as more or less emergency power. I say emergency, but chances are with the way this stuff functions, they're going to try and act as the majority power, but it's better than not being able to supply these things at all. Okay, that's going up, so I'm going to assume, assume that the quarry has stopped. I, I don't know what's going on with these pipes. They do weird things at times. Uh, I don't know. I suppose it's only going to hook up for engines at the moment, which leaves me with extra ducks, but that's fine. I suppose we can go see how the quarry has completed its mission. Creeper. No, stop it. Okay, Quarry, if you completed your mission, or are you still gathering resources? It appears the Quarry has completed. Well then, that was fast. That was very fast. All right. I suppose we'll go see what we got from it, and then we'll call that good. Sounds like you got a plan as any to me. So let's, well, let's do what I always do: harvest these on the way in. I say that, but I don't think I did it last time. Let me look. I can't prove that. Besides the fact that this is a YouTube video, let's just store these in my knapsack. I'll be making use of them soon enough, so why not? Okay. How are things going down here? You are almost full. You are almost empty, and you are almost empty, and it seems like you guys haven't really been acquiring any more saplings. Or if you have, you've been instantly destroying them. That could be a small problem, maybe? This is almost full again, however, so that's helpful. Hmm. But, let's see how well this worked out. We ended up with... Seriously? That's it? That's kind of lame, to be honest. 
Oh well. I'll take free tin. It was mostly a test to see how well it was going to function. To make sure that it would function. And it did. I'll just leave this here. Because then I can use it for future digs as well. Which I'm probably going to be using it under the ocean soon enough. Hoo hoo, they're empty. That's no fun. That is no fun at all. Oh, hey, that one got a little bit of fuel in it, finally. Cool. Are you running, or are you off? I honestly can't tell. Oh. I'm going to assume they're off. Oh, there's little bits of fuel in there, which means that saplings should be coming in. Nope. Okay, how much of this is a lie? I mean, seriously. One of these things is not true. Something is not functioning as intended. I'm not sure what, but I swear I will figure it out. There's a sapling in there. They, uh, don't like to update at times. Which is very awkward. I know we said we were going to stop, but I want to go check on this farm real quick. Oh. Huh. That's... a problem. Okay, let's just turn the round robin off for now. Go down here. You can see that one was green, which means that it's set to a priority. And it's going to be a while before these can actually get anywhere. By setting these to dense, we'll change them to be less of a priority than the other pipe, even though it's already closer. So, with any luck... Do I still have the... No, I did not have it on. It's just being wonky. Hmm. Unfortunately, that means that thing is going to have to repopulate now. Which means that everything I just set up in the basement has been slightly devalued for a moment means I should probably get the other four engines set up. But I think I'm going to call this good for now. Just going to put that back in there. Screw it. I know I can work this out. It involves digging into the floor, but it'll be fine. I'm going to call this good for now, and I will see you guys next time. Have a good day.